looking to make some healthier habits this holiday season, make sure to check out our Moving Through Midlife community over on Facebook as we are doing a Planksgiving event where we are doing daily plank workouts. We will be doing an advent for healthy, happy hips this holiday season, and then also have a sugar challenge, a two-week sugar challenge that you might be interested in. Happy holidays! It is always my goal to help you and your family move more. So every Thursday, I am dropping a movement snack into your ears to help you and your family move more. We are back with another weekly movement snack. And I wanted to let you know first that it seems uh, we've been doing this a year now, and I can't always remember what exactly I have spoken about in my movement snacks. So I am going to just assume that if this is something you've heard before, it's because you need to hear it again. So uh, the other day, I am actually, I'm now on TikTok. It is... Uh, I'm loving it. So if you enjoy TikTok, definitely come find me. I'm at Courtney underscore form fit and I'm really loving it over there. But one of the things that I spoke about is in regards to this low belly pooch. And I'm going to dig deeper into this in the upcoming weeks. But right now, this is something you can do while you're out driving. So what I want you to do is as soon as you get into your car, if you're listening in your car, you can do this right now. You are going to have one foot on the gas pedal. And then on the left hand side, I know I've mentioned this before, there's a little area for you to put your foot. I want you to put your foot there and try to even out your hips. From here, I want you to pretend that you have a string attached to your spine all the way up through the crown of your head. And I want you to pretend like someone is pulling that string nice and long, lengthening your body. And then you are going to move your rear view mirror up to where it needs to be so that you can see perfectly right now. Because what is happening when you are in your seats, they are these fantastic bucket seats, which are really, really comfortable yet are really terrible for our posture. And we get into this rounded state, which, my goodness, we are in all the time because of technology, because of our couches, because now our bucket seat uh, cars. So we are constantly in this rounded position. And if you look down... Before you've now sit, now you're sitting straight up. But when you initially were to get into your car, you may notice that you have like a bigger belly than what you normally have. And this has to do with your, the pressure within your torso. So your torso is shrinking down. Your ribs are usually kind of gripping down and putting pressure down into that low belly. So you end up with this belly pooch, which many of us moms deal with. This is something we, you know, a lot of us deal with. So um, being in your car, sitting in this for extended period of time, kind of trains your body to sit in that position or stand in that position. So we need to work against that as much as possible. And that is where this movement snack has led you. You are going to be sitting up nice and tall, thinking about lengthening through your spine, changing your rear view mirror so that you can see perfectly out of it while you're sitting up nice and tall. Now what's going to happen is you are naturally going to start to go back into your comfortable position. And the next time you do that and you look in the rear view mirror, you're not going to be able to see the car. And instinctually, you're going to think, I'm going to grab that rear view mirror and I'm going to bring it down to my eyes. But no, I want you instead to lengthen back up so that you are then looking again through that rear view mirror, sitting up nice and tall. 
And you'll notice if you look down at your stomach, you're not dealing with the pooch that you may have noticed when you first initially got into your car. So this is my movement snack for you today. It is a simple one. Um, I'm definitely talking a lot right now in my Form Fit Mom community on belly pooch. I'm also talking about it a lot on TikTok because I'm getting a lot of questions. So I'm just trying to go in daily and update answers to questions and help anybody out. So if you notice that you deal with a low belly pooch, um, there are things that you can do. Posture and breathing is where I recommend you start, not with ab workouts. So if you are interested in learning more about that, you can uh, join me over in my Form Fit Mom community. I do have information there for you that you can then get on the email address for um, some core work. And that is pretty much it. That's our movement snack for the week. That is information of what you can do, what we are working on this month. We're actually working on movement in May, but for some reason it kind of fell into uh, a lot about that low belly pooch. So we're hitting on that as well. And I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Make sure to keep moving and I will talk to you next week. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you could do me a favor, if you like what you hear, could you leave us a review or take a screenshot and share your favorite takeaway on social media? And make sure to tag us over at raising underscore healthy humans. Now go out and enjoy more movement throughout your day.